Uh, hey, it's National Zoo. It's National Zoo Lovers Day, and what better way to celebrate than with a brand new show from Geo from Nat Geo Wild? Watch. Its feet are stronger than a German Shepherd's bite, and its whole face is an ear. All this and its wings may be the future of human flight. Well, the new series is called Everything You Didn't Know About Animals. It's exciting, and here to teach us a bunch of things that we didn't know about animals, Dave Mizajewski with the National Wildlife Federation and Nat Geo Wild Animal Expert. He brought some cool critters. We hear one now, and some future zoologists who join us again. They were coloring with me earlier, and now you get to see the animals. Thanks That's for right. being here. What do you have right here? Dave You're welcome. Mizuski, thanks for joining us. Yeah, th this guy is a Vietnamese potbelly pig. and so George Clooney had one of those, didn't he? Yeah, a lot of people like to have these as pets, but I'm here to tell you, as <laughs> Cute as they are now, they get to be pretty big, so and pretty loud too. Like yeah, you know what? He's got a he's got a full belly. Let's see if well, he can get him to eat belly, there. There we go. There we go. Whoa. 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 <laughs> They're really fast too. So why don't we go on to our next animal here? Is he okay? Yeah, he's totally fine. He's okay. Look at this little guy. Right, this guy, come on in. This guy oh, is one of my favorites. Okay, as who is he? he? This is an eagle owl. Okay, these guys are native to Europe. The world's largest oh. owl species. Species. Look how big his eyes are. Let's see if we can get his, his eyes, eyes this way. Massive. Those eyes are so big in his head that he can't turn them this way. So that's why they can turn their head almost all the way around. Wow. They've so got those these eyes don't move, the neck does. Exactly. That's where the myth that owls can turn their head all the way around comes from because they can turn it almost all the way around. Well, but true but, or false, they eat Vietnamese piglets. But you know what? Oh, okay. This owl would, that would be the right size prey for him. Well, but, maybe that's why the pig was screaming. Yeah, yeah but, very nice. Yeah, but he does he, well, he, he eats mice. Do you have a question? What's your question? Yeah. What is it? His eyes look like one of those Beanie Boo's eyes. Yeah, they're, they almost look fake, right? They look almost like a stuffed animal eye. Those, these animals can see almost in pitch darkness. That's why they fly at night and hunt their look, prey. Look, you know what he's doing. Are you making those eyes, big guy? Are you doing that? Can you no, make he's just eyes? terrified. All right, uh, let's bring in the next animal. You know what, Dave? This is kind of like those birthday parties where you have animals and you... You're kind of being our entertainer. That's right. Coming up? What are you now, this guy, now? Oh, I was wow. showing the little guys this before. This is an African bullfrog, one of the largest frog species out there. Pretty huge. You want to touch it? Yeah. <laughs> you Go can, ahead. You can touch it. You want to touch? Just gently on the back. See? These guys, um, else want to touch? they're a little Does bit... Does he have a wart? Is they don't have warts. Wart? You know what? That's a myth, too. And, you know, that's one of the things that's really great about the Nat Geo Wild series, everything you didn't know about animals. We bust a lot of myths about animals, like frogs won't give you warts. So these guys are so big, they have that huge mouth, they eat anything that they can cram down their throat. Let me ask you about this. This weekend, we saw a lot of Easter bunnies popping around. Yeah. I know he came to visit a bunch of kids, but we have you have one here in studio as well. For we do, kids, we right? do, and let's bring them out here. So here comes guys, Peter Cotton. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, perfect for after, is that bunny? for after Easter. Look at those pink eyes. He has pink yeah. eye all so, the time. So this is an albino rabbit. Uh, does he know? He, well, I, I don't think they know, but right? yeah, but so, so this is just a special color. Is it okay and, to pet? Yeah, if you guys want to gently pet. Mm. You know, rabbits are another great animal um, to, as pets, but folks need to know that they live up to 10 or 12 years. Right. So if, if you get them for a kid, grown-ups have and to take care of it. they need exercise, correct? Well, they, yeah, they need space. Hop. Yeah, and they need to hop around. It's so. a real commitment if it, you get it, one of those. Exactly. Exactly, yeah. So you want to pet let's see if we can... All right, scooch over here. Are there, are there certain breeds that are better pets than others? You know what? You know, all of the d domestic rabbits, you know, can be good pets. This is a Rex. You have a very yeah. interesting animal. Bring on over yeah. the kinkajou. The kinkajou. All right, let's... Now, this is... This is an animal that you guys probably have never seen before. It's called a kinkajou. It's actually a cousin of a raccoon. Have you ever seen a raccoon before? Sure. Doesn't look anything like a raccoon, right? Wow. This guy lives down in South America in the jungles down there, and he's got this really long tail. See that down there? He uses it almost like a fifth arm to hold on to the branches. Wow. So that's one way that he's adapted to live Would in the jungles. Would that be a good surprise pet for any of these kids? Not a good pet. This is a good pet. This for Brian's wife. <laughs> no, you know what? You know, somebody to hug her. Wild animals never make good pets, so sure. if you're going to get a pet, stick with the dog, stick with the cat, adopt, you know, maybe a bunny if you, if you right. can you know, keep with the commitment. Gosh, All right, kids, so how about much. a round of applause for Dave Mizajewski, oh. spokesperson for the National Wildlife Federation. Right. Very nice. Thank you, sir. Thank Everything you, you can know about animals premieres Monday, April and, 13th. Yep. Thank you for uh, It's coming up. I can't wait. Congratulations on the new series. Did you, guys, right. did you guys all enjoy that? Have fun. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Aww.